Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video we are going to talk about how you can take pictures for an e-commerce website such as the one that uh, you are seeing uh, over here. So as you can see I'm getting um, pictures with, um, with let's say a neutral background. So I have the feeling that they have all been taken uh, from the same spot and this is great because it makes of course your pictures uh, more professional. Just to let you know that I'm not a professional photographer, actually I'm just starting with uh, with uh, photos, with taking pictures. Um, from what I can already see it's a lot about experience so you need to test, test and practice and of course I read a bit of uh, theoretical um, theoretical courses, theoretical background. So um, for the sake of this course, I'm using a photo box, which is similar to the one that you can see over here. And uh, you can easily go on AliExpress and look for a photo studio box and you will see that it's uh, really affordable. Okay, so you get a cube like a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter uh, with uh, lights. And uh, of course, once you get it, uh, the only thing that you have left is to take a picture. Um, just uh, for you to know it is that if uh, they are cheap, of course there is a reason. So most of the time when you are getting uh, those uh, at home, uh, well, you will uh, clearly see that actually some cover, for example, such as the uh, background color here are, are bent. And as a result, of course, it will uh, impact the quality of uh, your picture. But just to let you know, it's really pretty affordable. So you can uh, easily play with them. Uh, just pay attention and of course do not let the electricity on uh, without attention. So when you are not using it, just unplug it. Okay, uh, let's see how it looks like. So here, as you can see, I have my own uh, studio photo box. Uh, cost me nothing, as I said, kind of 10 to 20 euros. I have my different background that I can use. So of course, it depends of the object uh, that you're going to select. So according to the object that you select, you choose uh, the, the color which is mostly the opposite one because the idea is to remove this given color from the background in order to just have the object and then have all your objects which look uh, the same in terms of background. As you can see I get uh, some lights at the top and the point of the lights is actually to push out uh, the shadows which are kind of a mess after that to remove from uh, your uh, software image uh, editor and then all you need to do is just to take uh, the picture when you fill it. So of course you center your uh, object and then you take the picture. Okay, marvelous. Um, once it's down, uh, what you need to do is that you need to go back on uh, your computer and then this is where you can uh, start to see the big difference. So let's imagine that I'm taking this apple that I took in picture this morning and that I would like um, to show it on a, let's say, on a white uh, background. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just add an extra layer, which is uh, which is this one. I'm going to put this one down, and I'm going to play with this one. So let's imagine that I want to remove here the green background. Um, I can use this one actually. And um, here I can define, in fact, the threshold in terms of green. But as you can see, I'm really having a hard time in order to remove the uh, background color. So if I do it like, uh, okay, I can I can do it like this, okay, and then if I remove my, yep, if I get just my apple um, out of it, well, it's not gonna work this way. Sorry for that. Just gonna, um, just gonna do it this way. So I'm just gonna copy this one. Okay, I'm just gonna remove this one. I take this one and I'm gonna just now remove remove the background like this with me. Okay. Okay. And um, okay, all good. And if I remove this one and I get uh, I'm gonna remove the white part now. Um so let me oops. Um, no. Okay. okay, so here you see, you see the issue is that by removing the green uh, background is removing of course a part of the apple and that's not what I want. So the idea is actually to take a color which is totally opposite than the one that you have. So in my case here it's the blue one, so blue one will be far better as you will see in a minute. And uh, so I just need to 
oops, to remove these parts out, and then I can just um, oh sorry, once more I made exactly the same mistake, so I should have copied this one. So I'm gonna play just with the copy, and then I can select this one, remove the blue parts. Okay, yes, like this. And now I can put it like this. Yep. Um, let's. Okay. And here, as you can see, I just get uh, my ripple. So of course, I still need to work a little bit around this blue one. That's why I'm saying before that uh, shadows are held because you need all the time uh, to take care about those given part in order to. Oh, sorry in order to get rid of those oops get rid of those of those little little pieces so this is where uh, you need to clearly uh, be able to use your um, graphic software editor properly so here in my case i'm just gonna make it uh, make it quick okay like this and you continue to adjust it until you get uh, your apple properly uh, cut out from uh, from the image okay and as a result when your image is properly made of course you can add any uh, background that you want afterwards so it's uh, you can go back on a, on a white one where you can easily insert uh, your website signature over here blah 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 Oops. And then uh, you have your then you have your template that you can reuse after for any uh, pictures that uh, you have about uh, your website. And just to let you know that uh, you can automate all of this um, thanks to a script or at least uh, a software which is used only by Common Line, which is called Image Magic, uh, which is available on Linux. So Image Magic is like um, Photoshop, GIMP, or Inkscape, or whatever, it's just that it works in common lines. So as a result, what you can do, for example, is what I did over here, uh, you can convert a, a given image uh, just in common line, and of course you can automate like this many uh, different pictures. So let's imagine that I'm running this given command, which means, okay, convert uh, this given image into an image which will be called like uh, like this. So here it means that you're gonna reverse the, the color. And if you execute this given command line, and if you look at the result, you will see that actually it's automating, um, it's reversing all the pictures. So to say, once you get the picture uh, that you are taking about your product, okay, all those, well, sorry for that, all those uh, pictures that, that you are taking, and once you identify what is the right color to remove or out of it, what is the right threshold, if you take the picture correctly, if you get rid of the shadows, uh, once you get like your hundreds and thousands of images, you can automate the full process of removing the background and you don't need to do it uh, one by one. You can as well automate the process of adding all those signatures over here to all your pictures. And like this, you, um, you have all your pictures made for your website automatically thanks to Image Magic. And that's uh, what I wanted to show you for today. So the possibility for you to get a nice background for all your picture by just choosing uh, the right lights, by choosing the right colors, and then by removing those colors thanks to a software editor such as GIMP. And then once uh, you are doing this, you can automate the full process for all your picture thanks to Image Magic. I really hope that uh, this video helped you understand a little bit more how you can automate and make all uh, your pictures look the same for your e-commerce website. Thanks for watching.